Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about our work on taxonomy of wild learning for field shot event detection. I'm the first author, Jimin Zheng, coming from the National University of Defense Technology. I will introduce this work through five parts. Let's go to the application backgrounds first. Our neural networks has two promising performance in reality. Versions of neural networks needs large amounts of annotated data to reach a generalization ability for unseen data. However, in real-world scenarios, data annotation usually require expertise, which will cost massive labor cost and time. Compared with neural network training, the human baby can learn to distinguish the dog based on just one photo. Hence, Future learning was proposed to deal with such low resource issues. The main goal of event detection is to, do, to detect trigger words and identify that belong event types from a structured tag. For example, the event instance describes the end position events triggered by words stepping aside. In addition, the low resource scenario are widely happening in the real world Set. Nearly 70% of event types in the AC 2005 only have instance field length 100, while in the IAMS course, the proportion even approaches through 90%. Hence, it is vital and feasible to investigate how to deal with the low resource issues in the event detection task. Next, Let's see the motivation of our model design. First, we should know the methodology of previous work on future event detection. Previous future work in event detection generally depends on the prototypical networks to deal with the problem. They simply classify a label instance in the query sites according to the matching score with precast centroids or called prototype. The class centroids are the average embedding of corresponding label example in the support set. But the biggest problem in these approaches is that they cannot handle the inherent problem in the future learning, that is, how to transfer the event encoder to unseen task within limited label instance. In addition, the basic of this method, that is prototypical networks, has also some flaws in event detection. As shown in the left figure, per class centralized in prototypical networks, that is dot A, B, C, often distributes closely in the embedding space, which easily cause misclassification, especially for query instance scattered in those overlap space. Furthermore, Prototypical networks cannot account for a latent hierarchical structure in label taxonomy. We can find it in the right figure from the distance perspective, the distance between instance with the same sub-event label should be closer than the distance between instance with the same parent events, but different sub-event labels. Therefore, we design a taxonomy of well self-supervised learning framework Task for event detection to deal with the generalization issues. And we also derive traditional prototypical networks to taxonomy once to deal with the flaws in the vanilla prototypical networks. Next, let's see the model details. First, we should specify the problem def definition. The event detection can be defined as given a sentence and a trigger words as an event instance. The model should predict the event level. For the NVK shot scenario, each main task consists of a support set and a query set. Special support set includes K event instance for each of N event level, that is NV, such as NS equal N multiply K. And the future event detection first the training on a set of met tasks and then directly test on another set of unseen met tasks. The capacity of future event detection model is measured by the generalization ability on unseen tasks 
latest performance of main task in the testing physics. After that, we will detail our proposed model. First is ta taxonomy self-supervised framework. Task self, task self and through my potential relationships among training pools, I supervise signal, which can help to alleviate the generalization bottleneck brought by the insufficient training example. Given an anchor instance IA, we can get three types of instance. For example, I sub denotes the instance has the same sub event level, where I EVE means that instance has the same parent event level, but different sub event levels. And the I hitter is the instance has different parent event levels. Hence, we can get to equality as the supervision signal. For supervision one, under the same parent event level, instance with the same sub-event level stay closer than instance with different sub-event level. We can get the equality this IAI sub minus distance between IAIEVE. And then the supervision true, instance with the same parent event level stay closer than instance with different parent event levels. We can get true equality distance between IAI sub minus distance between IAI heater and distance between IAI EVE minus distance between IAI heater. Hence, we treat a short distance instance pair as a positive one, a longer distance instance pair as a negative one. According to such setting, we can design three different triplet ranking losses as shown in the equalities. Then we talk about taxonomy of well prototypical networks, TAPN. TAPN has to deal with the formation proper in the vanilla prototypical networks. That is, the class centrally distributed closely and the embeddings cannot reflect the taxonomy of well distribution. TAPNet calculates a projection matrix to make class centroids well separated in the embedding space, which can deal with the first problem, but cannot consider label taxonomy. Hence, our proposed taxonomy of well prototypical networks integrates point care module. One method has been proven effective in representing the hierarchical data into TAPNets. In TAPM, there are four important Presentation that is pre class centroids, label hierarchical embeddings, label semantic embeddings, and the label reference embedding. Initially, the pre class centroid indicates the original pro label prototype, which is calculated by vanilla prototypical networks. And uh, the label hierarchical embeddings reflect the hierarchical label taxonomy, which is calculated by point care model. In addition, the semantics of label itself can provide a good bias, which is calculated by a text encoder, while the label reference embedding calibrates the new label prototype in a new embedding space. And last, such full embedding are aligned to obtain the projection matrix M. Last, we also propose a sequential training strategy to combine the task self and TAPM to formulate our ensemble model, TREM. For each meta training task, we first train task self on a supposed set and get the updated encoder parameter set E by back propagation. And then we use the updated encoder parameters set E to initialize the encoding parameters PE in TAPM and join TAPN to update all parameters in TREM by back propagation. We also examine our proposal in the AC 2005 data sets. First, we introduce how to construct a few short event detection data set from AC 2005. The total parents events are first separated into two disjoint sets, training parent event levels and testing parent event level. For example, we select non-movement, contact, conflict, and justice as the training parent event levels, while the rest 
life, business, personnel, and transaction as a testing parent event levels. For the NV sub event levels are rendering sample from the corresponding parent event levels. And training query set consists of two parts, training queries and the training NOTA queries. NOTA queries means none of the above queries appear in the supposed set. In conclusion, we mainly consist four types of main tasks. That is five way one shot, five way five shot, 10 way one shot, and 10 way five shots. Now we analyze the experimental results. First, we consider overall performance on the following four types of main tasks. We select the GM, SNAIL, Proto, and Proto loss as the baseline. In addition, we also add the task self into the four baselines to construct four new methods. Besides, we also consider individual TAPM, TLM, and TLM training by joint training as our proposals. Especially, TLM can be treated as the task self version of TAPM. As shown in this figure, we can find any baseline corporate with task self can gain significant progress against its original one. Such consistent advantages demonstrated our proposed task self can effectively mine extra level information from limited training examples. Secondly, models incorporated with TRPN can also show a various advantage over the baseline. And thirdly, TRM presents a various advantage over TRM and JT, which means that the sequence training is a better training strategy. Previous says we also add some now of buff queries into the query side to examine the global model robustness. Well, OOTA rate means that the proportion of OOTA queries in the spoke query side. From this figure, we can find that model combined with task self can obviously outperform the original one. The advantages brought by task self do not fade away with the growth of the OOTA rates. This finding indicates that task self can strengthen the model robustness to deal with the disturbance of irrelevant data. We also analyze the model convergence based on a metric of normalized loss. For this figure, we can find that when models are incorporated with task self, the speed of loss decreases become faster. The TAPS still can achieve the second lowest training losses among six prototypical network space models. We examine the field shot performance affected by the sentence length. We can find that when the sentence length increases, the performance of all discussed models mainly keep the sense trained overall. That is, accuracy will first increase a reason to reach the peak at 20 and 30 group, and then begin to decline. The advantage brought by task self will be also diminished as the sentence length increases. At last, we conduct a patient study to understand the effectiveness of each module in TLEM. We can find that the six proposed modules can affect, affect the model performance, and the label taxonomy is the biggest influence factor. In the end, we can make a conclusion about this paper. Ourself explores the taxonomy of well distance relationship to substantially increase the training examples, which alleviates the generalization bottleneck brought by the insufficient training example. TAPA introduced the point K embeddings to represent the level taxonomy and integrates them into a tap net, which tackles the problem of car centroid distribution and the taxonomy of well distribution in the portal typical networks. For future work, we think about two directions. One is the external knowledge cooperation. The other is the extension to common classification task without level taxonomy. Uh, if you have any question about our work, you can ask me now or can me later. Thank you.